I've entered the catacombs in Copper Lane. Um, Copper Lane catacombs, properly named. And I've got a quest here, a voice from the past. Mm, requires me to search for this woman, Rowena. Uh, because I met Dalton, a retired adventurer in Copper Lane. He's been hearing the voice of Rowena. Rowena, let's call her Rowena. His lover and comrade have died at his side almost 60 years ago. In his dreams, he wanders the catacombs beneath the city. He's asked me to venture down there for ser to search for her. So I've made it into the catacombs. Unfortunately, Dalton couldn't give me more specific directions. But if Rowena has been wandering around down here, there's bound to be some sign of her. So I will find some enemies over here. Uh, let's explore. There's a dead initiate. As you approach the dead man, you can feel the faint traces of his soul lingering, a stunned uncertainty holding it in, in place. When you near without warning, the soul hurries towards you, as though you were a solitary light in the dank gloom of this place, come to usher it away. Its essence invades your consciousness. You are in a different body now, walking deeper into the catacombs, cloaked in a dark robe with a mask pulled over your face. You're following a familiar path along the canal. Heading to a room built around a statue of figure wearing a robe much like yours. Others await, clothed in hoods and shadows. Ahead is another figure dressed like you, traveling in the same direction. You don't know his name, and that's how it's supposed to be. Out of the darkness, something monstrous grabs the other figure. You turn to flee, but find yourself face to face with a troll. The panic pounding through your brain is interrupted by razor edged teeth and claws. You snap yourself out of the dead man's memory. The corpse lies on the damp and grimy ground. His hood and mask are missing and his clothes are shredded. Sagani draws up next to you. You alright? It's almost like you lost your footing for a minute. Yeah, get used to it. The rest uh, is getting used to it already. Um, yeah, it happens from time to time. Mm. She watches you quietly. You really are a watcher, aren't you? Once in a great many generations, one of my people is born with the ability to speak to souls. Usually, such individuals become elders, or a lone set of tracks in the snow. She cocks her head. I would have thought my journey would be easier if I could see what you see. See what you see. But looking at you, I'm not so sure. Uh, yeah, neither am I. Believe it or not, I once would have rejoiced to know I'd be picked to travel far in search of something great. But even these gifts come with a cost, don't they? Forgive me if I was a little skeptical, skeptical of your abilities before. I can't say I've met a real Watcher before. Well, you should have been there when we were fighting Merwald. Oh, don't worry about him. He just likes doing that from time to time. Seems to cheer him up, so I just let him. Once you've seen it a few times, the shock wears off. <laughs> what I said, the rest is getting used to it. Every time he goes a little strange in the face, I try and see if I can hear anything. Kana grins. It doesn't work so far. See if you can get him to tell you what the spirit said. Thanks for backing me up, guys. Um, vicious, foul smelling sludge ebbs in the trench. And there is our first door. And there's a bridge. Ooh, and there's our first enemy. A troll, we can handle a troll. There are lesser black ooze and black oozes. What? Come on, make it work it. My bow's ready. Now let's handle the black ooze. gone. So, all kinds of baddies. Um, mm -hmm. Let's just uh, open this door first. See where it leads. To our ooze, which we killed instantly. And there's another one over Brave there. Let's 
so we're in a good place, I think. Because I'm defeating enemies. That's a good thing. Uh, let's check the crypt. Money from the skeleton, a lot of it. And there's another one. And what's that? Flume. Thank you. So there was actually nothing in that room. We'll approach this map. I think I'll be hugging the north side first before going this way. So let's explore uh, this side of the, uh, the water. And it is leading up. Uh, something written on the walls here. Kickstarter stuff again. Thank you. No, I won't read it. The coffin and the room with the dead end. Let's check the neighboring room or hallway. Ooh, what's this? Oh, ouch! I hit traps. Should have checked it first. Ooh, a spell ward amulet. Nice. Thank you. Uh, there's another long, small room over here. And more stuff. I think it won't be trapped. Ooh, lockpicks. I needed those because I wasted five in the Hall of Revealed Mysteries. Uh, yeah, let's all check those rooms. This one could be trapped, so let's be careful. Something over there. Yeah. Oh yeah, then I will trigger it. Uh -oh. No, nothing much. Oh wait, it still hurts me? Come on. Open it. Fine mill armor, nice. Well, let's get out of here. Let's recover a bit. And yeah, let's go further down. And oh, we are actually all the way down now. Um, but still keep going down at this side of the, the catacombs river. Kill this ooze with ease. Ha! And there's another one. Come over here. Two. Just focus on this one first. There's a third one even. Who comes to me? Let's go. Come on. Take him down. Take him down. Here's a lesson to be taught. That's it. Uh, good work. <laughs> Gotta still chance. They always have to start moaning when the battle starts, like a uh, elven sound or something. Mm. Mm -hmm. So this uh, leads to nothing. I guess this is the end of the road. And then let's check over here. Ooh, there is a room. Hello? What's this? More money. More... Ooh, there's a... It leads to the Temple of Wodica, really? I need to be heading there for the main quest. Interesting. I have to remember that. The journal says it can be found in the uh, friendly... What was it called again? First fires. So I would think I would go there first, but yeah. Let's keep it in mind. Anyway, we're not here for that right now. I'm clearing the catacombs. So let's focus on that. What does this lead to? Grave oh my, this new enemy, skeletal fighters. I don't know them yet. Oh, they're fairly easy. Good work. Good. Can I loot him? Yeah. A pollux and a bone. Nice. 
what is this room? All the way up north. Or north, like more like west, actually. Mm, does this lead somewhere? Grave There's a wizard. I think we can handle him as well. Yeah, easy. So actually this is a good area. I can kill stuff. It's always a good thing. And let's ravage the script. So I can go this way and I can go further. There's nothing here, I guess. I can go that way. Uh, let's go here first. Ever after you fight, I learned that. Because death lurks around the corner. I mean, it's not Dark Souls, but... I'm not playing on hard or anything. Uh, ooh, a gun. Pistol, actually. And it's turning into a cave. Ooh. An NPC, Helic of Thane. A lone figure in tattered robes shuffles across the chamber, muttering under its breath. As you approach, the figure halts and swivels its head toward you. Its haggard visage is a labyrinth of wrinkles and sores overgrown by a moss-like beard. What's this? Who disturb Halleck's work? Its voice rattles and gurgles like that of a drowning man. Oh, it's related to the quest. Uh... Yeah, let's get right down to business. Your helic Dalton sent me to look for a Wiener. He leans back and bursts into raucous laughter. His threadbare robes drift apart, revealing an amulet and a ragged wound running from chest to throat. It spatters a black, vicious fluid on the floor with every crackle. Ugh. That old fool is still alive. I do hope he still doesn't bear a grudge for that incident. It was so very long ago. Uh. What can you tell me about Dalton? Only that it's a miracle, or a joke, of the gods that he's still alive. He picks a bloodied crust from his beard. The only thing he loved more than his fetching lieutenant was the idea of his own legend. Uh, did he now? Uh, let's not anger him yet. He claims to hear her voice. The wound oozes as he chuckles. Oh, I'm sure. She never did know when to hold her tongue. I'll make a deal with you. I can help you find Rowena, but I need you to visit an Animancer named Modred first. Another chore? <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know how strong he is, but um, I guess I'll reason with him for now. Alright, what do you need me to do? When Animancy started gaining popularity, I came to Defiance Bay in hopes of finding a place where my research would meet with more acceptance. Worked at the Breckenbury Sanitarium for a few months when I met Modred. He spits a glob of black blood on the floor. Nice. Let's just say Modred and I didn't see eye to eye. Got so bad we were threatening to kill each other on a daily basis. Obviously that bastard made good on his threat. He runs a jagged fingernail along his oozing wound. Sank a dagger into my chest while I was sleeping and dumped my body in the catacombs. So you were revived? Um, yeah, if Modred killed you, how are we having this conversation? I preserve my mind and my memories with Anguithan magic and a few timely preparations. He looks at his rotting hands, yet now my soul is anchored to this decaying husk. His claw-like hands clench into fists. Modred stole a life from me and left me with his wrecked corpse and this craving. He clutches at his stomach and glances at you hungrily, but only for a second. Modred keeps all that is precious to him in a trunk in his laboratory, just as he stole my grimoire. He offers you a key with a claw-like hand. On your way to Breckenbury Sanitarium, then, bring me my grimoire and my revenge, and you can have your Owena. He chokes on a burbling chuckle. There's nothing else be on your way. Uh, yeah, what are you doing down here? I guess I exp you explained it, but it's an option, so... Research! A hodgepodge of animancy and necromancy. I have peace and quiet as well as an abundant supply of subjects. I guess those are the creatures behind you. Just a few personal projects. Sorry souls stuck in their mortal shells. Their flesh is as dead as, is as, dead as mine, so their minds are not as well maintained. They flock to me like worms to drakes. They're not half as intelligent, but he watches as one stumbles into a desk. They serve for amusement. 
Uh, I was just exploring the catacombs. The figure aims a gnarled finger at the door. Then go. And thank your gods I'm not hungry. He threatens to eat me. Farewell. Uh, so my quest has been updated. I need to travel to Breckenbury. So I guess I won't find any solution in here. I guess I could kill the Halic of Thane, but I like to be diplomatic. Um, so let's... Uh, uh, you got anything else to say on the matter? Oh, did you find my grimoire? No, not yet. Don't come back until you have it. So if I were to attack, then these revenants would come after me as well. I might have... Uh, uh, might have worked. I think I could kill him, but let's try the hard way. This creature appears to have suffered horrific burns. Its skin is blackened and its limbs have melted and fused. It plods stubbornly across the room. Hello? The creature does not seem to register your words. <laughs> no, I won't shove it. Let's leave him be. Mm, dust and cobwebs have been swept aside for various alchemical implements. Though coated with rust and grit, they look recently used. And uh, now I can use it. Yeah, we'll take that. Tarnished locket. Sure. He doesn't mind, apparently. Uh, more revenants and more stuff. And there's another exit. Uh, let's take it. He has a very, uh, you know, tucked away alcove in the catacombs. Oh, great. Thank you for the trap. Oh, great. Another one. Oh, that sucks. The third one. Again, this is my reward. What do you have? Come on, let's... Leather armor. Now get away from the traps, and I'll be heading this way the next time. Uh, so yeah, that's, I guess. Uh, and what was his name again? I tend to forget. Uh, let me check for a minute. Mm. Helicothane. It's Helicothane's corner over here, and I'll be back on Breckenbury. Maybe I'll end up killing him after all, but that's for later to decide. Uh, now let's go back here a bit, speed it up. I haven't explored in front of the stairs yet. And there's an urn. Grave Dalphilatheli. And it moves. He was dead already. Thank you for the stuff, and uh, more stuff. Wait, did I? Yeah, now I did. Um, I guess I'll go over here on this bridge. Yeah, I need to go back a bit, but with fast mode active, I can travel fast, luckily. Mm, yep, let's go over br this bridge. See what's on the other side of the catacombs. So we found already a passage to Wodica and a character who I uh, need to do some stuff for. Um, there's a dead end and there are other tombs over here. Where's the entrance? Uh, over here I guess. More trolls this way. Looks a bit like the, um, you know, under Cate Noir, the, the, uh, the, the Whatchamacallit of Atwa Endless Paths. It looks a bit like the Endless Paths. Uh, thank you for the Morning Star. Because I won't use it. Another door over there. Let's go down first. And there's a corner. So let's go in here. Who's here? A fight. Another NPC. Eorn. This small Orland man appears to have pulled together some crates and scraps of cloth to make a rather sorry looking little camp. The thick fur on his limbs is matted, and his clothing smeared with blackening grime. He looks startled as you enter, his eyes widening in alarm. Good day to you. After a moment, however, he smiles weakly. Hello there. Wasn't expecting any visitors down in these parts. He glances around the dim room. Uh, what are you doing down here? E grimaces. I've been a little down on my luck lately. Didn't have anywhere to stay, so I thought I'd come down here. Nobody pokes around in the catacombs much. Not until you, anyway. Oh yeah, it's a sad tale, but not the whole story, I think. What are you hiding, man? 
The Orlan looks away, clearly agitated. I'm just trying to get by. There's nothing else to it. If that isn't you, to your liking, there's a whole lot of catacombs out there for you to have all your, all to yourself. Mm, <laughs> a little more, a little aggressive. I think my character is not really aggressive. Um, yeah, it's a bit sarcastic, um, but let's be um, let's be nice. If you tell me, perhaps I can help. Eorn opens his mouth to snap something. His hands balled into fists, but he thinks better of it. He shakes his head slowly, expression resigned. So there's another angry man. A lot of angry dudes here in Pillars of Eternity. Eorn sighs heavily. Very well, it's true. I've been hiding from the knights down here. But it isn't what you think. He ducks his head. It was an accident. It's been hard for me here in Defiance Bay. I suppose I thought if I got involved in city business, if I made the right friends, it would get easier in time. And I did, really. I made a name for myself, a place. People actually listen to me when I talk. Well, they used to. People can get very passionate about these things. We were discussing, I think it was shipping agreements, of all the things to fight over. But this one night, this man, he got very angry. I think maybe he'd had a little too much at the inn. Eorn pauses, and I guess he didn't like an Orland talking back at him. I struck him. He came towards me and I hit him, and he went over like a tree. I guess he struck his head on the way down. Eorn lowers his gaze and shrugs helplessly. Turns out he was a knight. The Crucible Knights won't care how it happened. They just want me gone. They won't let me live long enough to see the rope. Please, he looks at you with a pleading expression. I just want to get out of this city. The second I get money from passage, I won't trouble anyone again. I swear it. I live quietly, but you can't, please, you can't tell that I'm here. Uh, no, I don't want to distort him. Um, no. I guess your secret is safe with me, for now at least. Yorn lets out the breath, obviously relieved. Thank you, he says with feeling. Truly I won't be here much longer. If I can help it, just just have to get the coin together. Yorn nods in greeting. Anything else I can do you for? I can do it for you. I always read that wrong. Um, <laughs> we can uh, get to his past. Um, but first, what can you tell me about these catacombs? He smiles wryly. Haven't explored too much of it, to be honest. Got lucky finding this little corner of it, but let me think. Well, the kennel there, that's Grogan's kennel. Grogan was a dwarf that planned the whole thing. It runs up through the Andra's gift, spills out into the sea there. Otherwise, it's just a lot of bones. There's the warrants for people that couldn't afford better, but it's all flooded now. The venture folks, they have their own resting places. Down here, drier places. The Dukes of the Deerwood are down here, actually, if you want to pay your respects. Oh, they're buried. Have you seen a woman named Rowena? He shakes his head. Sorry, but I don't know anyone by that name. I know I'm not the only one down here. However, I hear voices now and then from across the kennel. Sounds like they're coming from the northwest. North... Uh, okay, we've already went there. That's where the crazy man, the dead one, uh, was. Uh, we need to talk about more your past. Um, oh, no. No, 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 no. I don't. Sorry, I didn't want to do that. Can I just back out of it? Can I... Oh, that sucks. Yes, I've told you what happened. I only back to tell anyone. No, I won't. No. Oh, I can give him money. Uh, wait. I guess that only resolves the quest. Yeah. I guess why not? Am I too good? Am I uh, kind of a saint if I do it? But I got the money, so maybe he will help me in the future. Or I may find out later there's a, that he really is a crook. And then I let him escape. Uh, here, this, uh, I guess I should try. Here, this should be enough to buy your passage out of Defiance Bay, you lucky man. Yorn stares at you in disbelief. But, but this is his face twists as he struggles for words. They said you were a kind soul, but I wouldn't have imagined it will see me out of the city and well away. I'm not sure I could ever thank you enough, but here, take this. I hope it's some use to you on your journey. You have my lasting gratitude, friend. I, I should get ready. What did he get? I decided Jorn's fate. Unwanted. 
And there's an addendum added to a voice from the past. Uh, yeah, nothing new there. Breckham Beauty. And I completed the task, unwanted. Really cool. I let Eon go. Mm, let's explore what did he got in here. I'm a good guy, right? I helped him. Maybe uh, I will get the help back somewhere along the game. The smoldering fire is strewn with the meager remains of a recent meal, fish bones, a moldered rind of cheese, and a blackened bread crust. And the wobbly little tent is barely standing. And there's a book. The queen that was and still is. Thank you. I will sell that. And so, yeah, there's uh, quite a lot going on in this catacombs. Uh, I guess there's a small area left. But who knows what we'll find there. So let's explore further. Ooh. And that leads me down. There's another door. Uh, let's check this first. And there's a skeleton. Kill it, come on, everybody through the room. So you can actually attack it. Good. Now loot it. Oh, there's another one. A wizard. Well, they're easy, so... I'm not scared by them, for them. A lot of stuff that I won't be using. Mm, yeah, let's explore. A fighter over there. He's coming out of the room with himself. Come on, make it quick. Oh no. Indeed. Uh, more stuff. Thank you. Let's loot the place. Ooh, fine great sword. Could come in handy. And skill armor. And you, money. There's a lot of copper over here. So that 300. I lose it. Don't care. Anyway, we didn't check this portion of the the map, but first let's go down here. Let's see what we can find here. A dead skeleton. Grave Grave Philosophy. Philosophy. Whoa, a dead spore. Oh no, you sound. You seem. Oh god. I shall deal with this one. He turns people, but he is easy. He's dead. Good work. A scroll, nice. A scroll of protection. And there's another dead dude over there. But let's be careful. If there is a boss type of this thing, then I would be screwed. Ooh, a Wodica hood. There's actually <laughs> a little one. Um, a sporling. Grave Dalfilah. A big one. Let's kill a little one first. Ooh. Okay. Point this the way. needs for some hmm. planning. Just to be safe. Ooh, we got level three stuff now. Mm. Yes. Uh, yeah, some more damage. Mm. You just tumble him down. Mm. And ooh, I like this. Let's go with the little one first. Now we got friends. Okay, this is getting more serious mm. now. Point the way. Yes. Yeah, you just do your stuff. How may I help? Uh, you do some damage with your third level spells. Huh. And you can do anything but attack. Okay, there's one left. And your ass took a little hit. I can hear growling, but that's the dog of uh, Serana. What was his name again? 
pronounce Sagani, not Sorana. I'm bad at names. Uh, more loot. Sure. Thank you very much. Ooh. A scepter. Uh, not so good. Uh, something over here. Nope. I did go. Yeah, I did go there. So, huh? Let me just check. I went this way? Yeah, I guess so. So, there's nothing over here, so let's go up again. And then we're back over here at the start. Ah. So let's just check this side of the room. Nothing. And I guess I have to check a little bit over here now, and then... then that's that for the catacombs. Yeah, I didn't cross that bridge. I went to this room. Speed it up a bit. Yeah, I guess that's it. So, what did we do in the catacombs? We met Halig the Guru, whatever his name was, the Thane or something, and he leaded me to Breckenbury because I need to finish the quest there or I could just kill him but I don't want to do that uh, I helped this man over in this portion helped escape to give some money and I can go to the temple of Wodica and that I think that uh, it precedes the main quest and yeah I'll see what I'll do next time but this is for the, the catacombs so it was a quite easy area uh, so this is uh, where I should have been going and I'm on the right way, so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.